What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 here on Aviator Games. And you guys, before we get into this episode, I would just like to say I am in the midst of queuing videos for Christmas break because I am going to be going home to Wisconsin for Christmas to visit family and friends uh, on December 16th. So I'm working like crazy right now to get videos ready for both my channels and BAM Lounge. So I hope you understand if over these next couple of days there's not a ton of videos, there's only going to be probably in the next four days or so about maybe two to three videos airing on this channel as I'm trying to get ready for when I'm going to be gone. So I hope you guys can understand that. And when I am gone, I'm going to be gone from the 16th to the 26th, so 10 days. You'll probably only get anywhere from 10 to 12 videos in those days. I'm going to try to have a Sims 4 video for every single day and a couple other videos like Spore, Grand Theft Auto, and uh, a few other games I found that I think are fun. But you guys, before we get into this episode, please show your support and love for this channel by Slapping that like button, Lemonheads. Let's go for 2,000 likes on this video. Um, and if you like the video, comment down below hashtag like spike to spread like awareness for likes all around. I know we usually do that in a live stream, but let's let's give it a shot in this video. Okay, so you guys, in today's episode, I am kind of preparing to start to follow Victoria and Alana into the future. Now. I'm really excited about this because I have amazing ideas for, for what it's going to be like to follow Victoria and Alana into their future. Because I, I think we're going to follow both of them. I don't think there's a reason to only follow one. I think they're it's cool because they're both materialistic, like Cali girls. They, they love the money. They love the materials. They love the possessions. And... I have some great ideas for following them. So we're kind of just prepping their life, making sure they have the perfect start. I want them both to get A's in high school, of course. Maybe both to have some type of romance. Uh, because they each have, I think, about 10 days or so left until they do age up. So I figured, hey, why not make sure their life goes perfect? We're going to have Marshall work really hard today. John, I don't think, has a job. We just moved in with him last time. And you guys said that... He should live with us until, you know, he passes, which shouldn't be too long. He's about to turn into an elder in a couple of days, and probably by next episode, he'll be an old man. So I guess why make him move out? Why make him die alone when he can live with us and live a long, well, not a long, but live a happy life for the remainder of his, his life? So what we're going to do, though, with John is we're going to have him cook some food for us. Might as well put him to work uh, when we have him here. Let's go to party size entree. There we go. So you guys, I had an idea for when we follow Victoria and Alana and I wanted to run it past you guys because I like to run past all my ideas uh, through you guys so that way I know if you guys like it or if I shouldn't do it um, so basically my thought was to have everyone move out of this house besides Victoria and Alana and then they would get to keep all the money so because they're materialistic I think that they would like the, like it's like a trust fund from their parents so basically they take the like two hundred thousand dollars and then they those two move out and get like a giant mansion like California style and it's, it's just all modern and they're so filthy wealthy I, I thought that would be a, a really good way to take the series of uh, into a new direction with really materialistic wealthy um, Cali girl style people that took all their parents' money. <laughs> okay, that, so if you guys like that idea, tell me down below if it's a good idea or if not. You could comment, good idea, or please don't. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do, and what I would do is I would move the rest of these people that are alive into a nice quaint family home. And then, you know, the girls would go on to be rich millionaire playboys pl slash playgirls. <laughs> okay, so, John, did you just finish making that? Are you hungry, John? Uh, no, you're not. Okay, so what we're going to have you do, John, is put away all the food. And I'm going to have him mop up this puddle. Now, let's check in on Julia. So, Julia doesn't have an art canvas anymore. That's probably something we should grab for her. I'm going to delete that little violin. What else don't we need? We don't need this guitar, but this is memories. This is the guitar Cassandra used to play, so I'm going to put that there. Now, we do want some type of painting thing, and that we have that piano, we have that logic table. I really want something that we can paint with. I don't think we have anything, so what I'm going to do is I am going to buy a, a paint easel, right? No? Painting, uh, terrain painting. My house kid painting. I don't know why I'm even... Okay, here we <laughs> Storage rack. Okay, I could just do it the natural way. Activities. All activities. Okay, so what's the best painting set she's got unlocked? I'm guessing it's uh, this one I just saw right here. Okay, so this is the one we're going to use. Uh, let's plop this bad... Oh, wait, she has one. 
I'm stupid. She already has one, but I don't think it's as good as this one. So what we're going to do, because she had that one when she was a kid. Uh, oh, so she could have owned this, but she needs to be uh, in the painting career. So that kind of bites the dust. But let's put that right there. So perfect. She can actually start to paint again. Let's have her do a classic painting. A large one after she's done playing her little games or doing her social media. So we're going to have her paint a little bit. Earn some money for the household. We don't need a lot of money right now. But hey, why not? The more the merrier. Looks like Carmen's playing some games and everyone else is at work. What does John do for a living right now? Like, what does he do for fun? Looks like he never really accomplished any skills besides video gaming. So... I guess John's funnest thing to do is play video games. Let's play some games and we can enter novice tournament and maybe play uh, my Sims Forever tournament. That will be a little bit of fun for John. He never really amounted to anything and that's kind of sad. He he stayed behind to stay with uh, mom and dad and and basically never got a job, never got a girlfriend, never had kids, n nothing ever happened to his life. That's kind of sad, but hey, that's how some people's real lives actually go. So I guess it's interesting to see how it works in The Sims. Now let's check it on Julia. Let's see what kind of painting she's painting. Oh, she's doing the gnome one again. Okay, we're going to fast forward into super triple speed. I think we're going to get Alana and Victoria a part-time job as well. I think I kind of want to teach them valuable life lessons and skills um, right now when they are teenagers. So going into real life, they'll they'll be a lot more prepared. Ooh, this is cool. I'm going to keep this one. They're going to be a lot more prepared uh, to handle real life situations. I know they're material girls and they probably would never want to work a job a day in their life. But, that's not how these material girls are going to be. I'm going to make sure they're well-rounded people of society, even though they're going to have a really wealthy start. Uh, I think I think that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to have him take a shower, eat something, and then probably play some video games as soon as Carmen's done. As soon as Carmen's done playing all those video games. Carmen, you going to ever quit playing video games? Oh, okay, she's like, oh, I'll stop for you. Let's play Refugee. Um, what else could he do? He does need to earn programming skill one more programming skill and then has two have to have two enemies oh 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 they got bees still okay i think they each have to do extra credit one more time and then they get their grades up let's have them uh pound through this homework as quick as possible do your homework do your homework and then they have to do the extra credit i'm pretty sure let me see yep one more extra credit and then they both should get their grades up marshall you are did you quit eating are you full i didn't check are you you're not even full and you stopped eating why would you do that, Marshall? Okay, your fun's all the way up now. What I'm going to do is go over here and... Oh, is she going to eat your burger now? I think she's eating your burger, Marshall. Dang it. Oh, no, she's drinking a juice. She's drinking a juice, Marshall. You can still eat your burger. Okay, eat a hamburger. Okay. There you go. There you, <laughs> there you go, Marshall. Okay, so both girls look like they're very frustrated doing this homework. We're going to stop the conversation, though, because they got to be in the zone right now. Got to get that homework done. And it looks like Alana finished her homework. Her homework's complete. She's like, I can't wait to do my extra credit. <laughs> Said no one ever. Okay, now, Victoria, you're a little slower doing your homework. Maybe it's because she was chatting, though, and somewhat distracted. So what we'll do now, do your extra credit. Okay, don't chat, you guys. Get this homework done so you can get your A's, and then you never have to do schoolwork again. All you have to do is get a part-time job after that. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, did you finish it? Did you? You didn't? finish it oh she's she's standing up to do it okay that makes no sense is your extra credit just reading a book because she's not filling out anything stop talking to people you could have this done already if you would just buckle down and do it look at alana completed hers victoria's so distracted okay so there we go now victoria i know that was crappy we're gonna play some games we'll play some sims forever let's check in on alana Looks like she just wants to eat right now. She's like, I don't want to think about anything else but putting mac and cheese in my mouth. Okay. It, oh, reach level three. She's becoming a gamer. Just like her dad. And her dad, the dad after that, the dad, well, the granddad, you know, okay. that We've never had a great grandfather yet. Have we? No. No, we haven't. Okay. So, I guess Marshall will, well, I'll be the first great grandfather once uh, Victoria has a kid. But, you know... Yeah, you know, I'll be I'm dead. So <laughs> I guess I guess I'm not a great grandfather. I'll never be one. Dang it, I died too young. Okay, once she's done eating, we're gonna have her. Ooh, she's gotta go to the bathroom. That's good. She's gotta 
take one of those colon cleansing bathroom breaks. We'll have her take a shower, go upstairs. What could she do up here? I don't think there's a computer in their bedroom. We could have her just play some games on this computer. And then let's check in on Alana. Looks like she's had her fun. She's had her fill here. Let's have her eat some mac and cheese. Open this up, grab a plate of mac and cheese. And then we will have her go upstairs and finish her nightly, nightly routine and then go to bed. Because uh, it is getting pretty late. But at least both girls got their homework done. Let's have her sleep. Let's have her go to sleep. Let's find Julia. She's embarrassed for some reason. We'll have her go to sleep. <laughs> John, are you creeping on anyone right now? Go to sleep. Marshall's already asleep. We'll have Carmen come in here and head to bed. I'm going to wake Marshall up, though, and have him use the toilet, take a shower, and then go back to sleep. Because I don't want him to wake up too much earlier than everyone else. But that should be everyone. Everyone should be heading to bed right now. It's 9.30 at night. Oh, except Alana. She's playing video games. I forgot about that. Let's check on her skills. Okay. And her fun is all the way up. So she can stop. Okay, go to bed now. There, everyone in the house is now resting and asleep. Perfect. <laughs> that was a hectic day. It's really hard to manage all of these sims. What's broken? A toilet. A toilet's broken. It's really hard to manage all these sims. Having six sims to manage is a task and to give equal attention to them. That's why I think from now on we're going to pay most attention to Alana and Victoria since they are the future. Didn't I ever tell you day in the future? Okay, so they're the future, and we have to make sure that their lives go extremely well right now. Otherwise, bad things could happen. So, and this is going to be the first time we followed just girls into the future of the series. So, I'm kind of excited to see how life will be different. Will they be, will they ever settle down from materialistic girls? Will they ever just settle down and want to have kids? Will they get married? You know, all those questions and more will be answered hopefully someday soon. Now, Julia's going to have a quick wedding, I think, next episode. She's not going to um, actually have a huge wedding with Max. She just wants to be married with him, have him move in, and live happily ever after. This is a really cool painting. I like this a lot. What is this worth? 600 bucks. This is, this is worth more to me to have in the house somewhere. So let's grab this bad boy. And I can plop that bad boy right there. And I could uh, frame the canvas. And I could put it right there. So that's that's a pretty cool photo. I like that. Good job, Julia. Oh, you're up? You have to go to the bathroom? Oh, Jesus. Did you get enough sleep? She did get enough sleep. I'm going to have her go back to sleep after this, though. So use that. Take a lawn shower. And then go back to sleep. Everyone's got to get longer terms of sleep here, people. I know everyone's hungry. They're eating mac and cheese now. Carmen's literally, like, scatterbrained right now. We'll have her take a shower, go to sleep. Now go back to Alana and Victoria. Got to make sure that their day starts out right. So what we're going to do is have Victoria wake up, take her brisk shower to kind of make sure she's awake, come downstairs, and I don't know how much mac and cheese is going to be left. Let's have her grab that. We're going to have Alana grab this right off the bat in the morning. Uh, grab a serving of that. Then we're going to have her use the toilet, take a shower. Looks like Marshall's eating already to start his morning off. He's like, nom, 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 talk to John. Marshall and John are becoming pretty good friends lately. And I know he wasn't the best bigger brother back in the past. Eat this macaroni. Why do you keep putting your food down? Eat this macaroni, and then you can use the toilet. And then mop all this up so then your wife doesn't have to. And then you can clean the dishes up, too. Why not, Marshall? Might as well put you to work a little bit. Okay, so it is 6 a.m. Both kids are waking up. Because they have school today, it is Wednesday. How many days do they have? Now, Alana is the oldest one, four days. And then, ooh, Carmen, or that's Carmen. Okay, Victoria's got seven days. What I think I'm going to do is have them both age up on the same day. Um, so, or somewhat similar, so that way they have the same amount of life left in them. Uh, I think that's a really good idea. And then I think I'm going to each have them take a youth potion from one of the older Sims that have earned more points um, so that way, yeah, see, like, he's got enough for another youth potion. So let's go to potions. What we can have him do is purchase this youth potion. Um, and he can give this. He can give this youth potion to his daughter, and she can use it in the future whenever she needs it. So we're going to set that bad boy here. Now let's check if Julia earned any type of... Oh, she's so close. And no, she didn't earn it either. Now John definitely didn't earn it. What could Julia do? to earn these this potion. 
So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something that gets her ninety five more points, so she can give a potion to her daughter as well. So that way we could have a little more of extended stay with these two going into the future. Now let's check in on Alana, make sure she's eating. Very good, Alana. You're gonna stand up by the refrigerator, eat all depressed like. She looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> we're gonna have her eat that as quick as possible, and it looks like Marshall is cleaning that sink. Wow, he's really doing a good job today. Okay, and there she's done. Marshall, are you, what are you doing? You Are you talking to Victoria? We have to have you clean up all these dishes. This is a very messy room. It needs to be cleaned. We need to hire a maid, I'm starting to think, because she they're not doing anything right. Victoria, you're working out. You're, oh, wait, that's because there's no mac and cheese left. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Have a quick... Oh, no, she's got to go to... Oh, she's got to go to school. She's not going to be able to eat. Oh, God, don't skip school. Okay, so both kids are off to school. That was a really hectic day. What we're going to have Marshall do now is since I think it's his day off, we're going to have him practice programming and then try to make some more enemies. Uh, practice programming. We're going to try to make him make two enemies. I don't know who, who's going to be those enemies, but uh, I'm excited to see <laughs> who we're going to decide to make enemies with Marshall. Go ahead, Marshall. Practice that programming. He needs one more full skill, and he should have that complete then. And then making enemies... I think the people that we're going to make our enemies, we're going to just do mischievous things to them at first, trying to get our mischief skill up, and then we should make some enemies by doing that, I think. I think being mischievous to some sims makes them hate you a little bit, so fingers crossed that people will hate Marshall by the end of the day. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, let's have Julia do another painting. I want pop art. Let's do a large pop art painting. That's something she really enjoys. She's retired from painting, but she still loves doing it. So keep that in mind. She may have retired from being a professional painter, but she still loves to put some colors on canvas. Okay, Marshall, how's it coming? It looks like it's coming pretty well. And I knew she was working out. She works out so much. Carmen, that's like literally all you do nowadays is just pump yourself up. I think what we're going to have you do is uh, do an endurance run and push yourself to the limits there. There we go. And now let's have Julia come in here and we'll have her, after she's done, to do some heavy lifting. Tone that body up a little bit. Okay, Marshall, come on. You can do this. Your dad was an expert programmer. Remember, he was a professional gamer. He did a lot of things to benefit all of humankind. He was the greatest because it was me. <laughs> I was pretty good. <laughs> I was, though. Oh, God, that is so cool. She's making some pretty good paintings lately. It's only worth $117. It is kind of scary. We'll have Marshall sell that to a collector for $117 once he's done doing all of this. Now let's click on Julia, actually, and see if it's maybe worth more with her. Nope, 117 bucks. Okay, so that pop art's really not worth much money. When you're a painter, too, you get more money for selling paintings uh, if you're actually in the career. So I've, I've noticed that. It kind of sucks that she's not in the career anymore. But, hey, they're all about to become elders, so might as well try to keep it, um, keep her happy now. Because uh, Marshall's still working. He's got 10 days until he ages up. I think Julia's got 10 days, too. Carmen's got the 12. But uh, I really want him to get level 10 before he retires. So that's why we're working on it now. So maybe he can retire and enjoy some of his youth before he ages up and becomes an old man. Grades are up. Victoria's got an A and Alana's got an A. He reached level 4 programming skill. Let's exit that now. You're done programming. Now we need him to make some enemies here. So who's on the side of the street? Okay, this old lady. So what we're going to do is give her a, a cheerful introduction. Why not? We're going to try to act nice. Who is this? Kelly. Kelly is angry. Okay, this is going to be perfect. She's angry. She wants to be my enemy. <laughs> Mischief. We're going to share a conspiracy theory. We're going to uh, scare her. We're going to uh, make a nauseous cloud of, what is that, a fart? <laughs> Lie about career. Um, uh, invite to fake party. Oh, God. These are so bad. I've never really done those. Okay, so let's see. That's actually making her my friend. That's what's funny. That's what's funny. Okay, so she's actually going to be my friend. And you guys said doing these mischievous things actually will build his skill faster than reading a book. So I'm kind of excited to see if that's true. And that's why I'm starting to do it. Let's tranquilize handshake. Um, let's go to give fake bad news. Um, claim to be a criminal mastermind. I am, though. I am. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm not a criminal. I'm a, I'm a secret spy guy. Oh, she didn't like that one. Oh! 
Marshall just knocked her out. That was a knockout punch, you guys. Marshall, that was not nice. That was not nice at all, Marshall. Look at what you did to her. Look what you did to this lovely old lady that just wanted to be your friend. And now she's dead. <laughs> Marshall's like, I don't care. I really don't. And now he's running. That's just, that's hilarious. Okay, let's get, let's get a memory of this without Marshall's feet in it. Because that, that might tie him to the crime scene. And I don't want to ever have to testify against Marshall. There he is. Or there she is. Knocked out. Unconscious from Marshall. And there he is running back to the house like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> oh my god. He really almost got his skill up though. That's awesome. That was actually pretty easy. I think we'll call her over and really mess with her next time, you guys. But I think this is a perfect place to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to slap that like button. Oh my god, look at everyone crowded around her. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, everyone, don't look at her, don't look at her, but if you enjoyed the episode, remember to slap that like button, if you watched the whole thing, comment down below, um, <laughs> I didn't see anything, comment down below, I didn't see anything, because Marshall needs somebody to testify for him, stating that he didn't do anything, but until next time, you guys, remember to take it easy, love it squeezy.